Math time na! It's me, Teacher Jane, and welcome to my channel! Interesado ka sa subject ko? Please don't hesitate to click the subscribe button and click that notification bell para updated ka sa next uploads ko. <coughs> Bigyan mo ako ng number. Bilis, bilis. Five. Ha? Huh? Wa A, B, C, D, E, E. Oh my God! Naalala ko ng crush ko. <coughs> O, oh, di ba? Relate kayo? For today's topic, we will be discussing Translation of English phrases and sentences into mathematical phrases and sentences and vice versa. Let's start with the operations we used in mathematics. So, here the symbol in addition. We have the following keywords that represents addition. So first, the sum of, increased by, exceed by, more than, plus, added to, a total of. Meron pa tayo, pwede ding up to, at gain. So all of them are keywords to represent addition. Next, we have... A symbol for subtraction. So the following are keywords that represent subtraction. We have the difference of minus, decreased by, less by, subtraction, subtracted from, diminished by, lost of, and down by. So those are the keywords that represent subtraction. Next we have the symbol X to represent multiplication. So the following are keywords. We have times multiplied by the product of multiplication factors of. But this time, yung symbol na X dito sa algebra ay hindi natin siya gagamitin. Kasi uh, we will be using a dot or a parenthesis to represent Multiplication. Another operation we have, division. So the words that we used are quotient, divided by, fraction of, the ratio of, over. So those are the words that represent division. Then we have the following symbols. Equals. Or it can be read as is equal to and equivalent to. Then we have greater than symbol. Is greater than or equal to is at least. And then we have the less than symbol. And then less than or equal to. It can be read as is at most. And then the last one, we have the symbol not equal to. Now let's proceed. Translating verbal phrase to mathematical phrase. So ano ba yung phrase? Ito yung uh, incomplete sentence. So for example, a number. So, it can be represented by any letters in the alphabets. You can have A, B, C, D, or anything. So, in this case, I write M. So, the verbal phrase is a number. And then the mathematical symbol I use is the letter M. Another example, we have a number increased by 10. So, in mathematical symbol, so yung ginamit kong letter ay M. So, gagamitin natin siya M plus 10. Bakit plus 10? 
Kasi yung keyword na ginamit ay increased. Kaya plus ang ating operation. So another example, a number diminished by 4. So ang ginamit na word ay diminished which means subtraction. So m minus 4. Next is twice a number. So 2 times m. Next is thrice a number divided by 8. So 3m divided by or all over 8. So let's have more example. So Let's say we have again a number. So this time, gusto ko naman gamitin ay letter A. So gagamitin natin ang letter A to represent the unknown value. So next, we have 9 added to a square of a number. So 9 added to, it means addition. So it becomes plus 9. So a square of a number, so a squared. So the equation or the mathematical phrase is A squared plus 9. Next is the sum of a number and 3 multiplied by 4. So meron tayong word na sum. Ibig sabihin, ia-add muna natin. So a number added by 3. So the sum, ba? And then, dahil my word na multiply, we will be using a parenthesis to separate the sum. So, A plus 3 multiplied by 4. Nasusundan ba? Okay, another example, we have a number. So, this time gamitin naman natin si X. Okay, the next, twice a number diminished by 7. So, 2 times X minus 7. 3 fourths of a number plus 12. So, 3 fourths of X plus 12. Okay, next, proceed tayo ngayon sa kabaliktara niya, translating mathematical praise to verbal praise. So, limbawa, ang given ay negative 5x. So, we can express it in verbal praise as negative 5 times a number x, the product of negative 5 and a number x. Pwede ring negative 5 multiplied by x and so on. Marami pa yan. Make sure lang that you use the keywords correctly. So now, let's proceed with translating verbal sentence to mathematical sentence. So kanina, ang ginawa natin ay phrase. So ibig sabihin, pag sinabing phrase, ito ay incomplete or wala siyang halaga or wala siyang kaulugan. But this time, translating verbal sentence, ibig sabihin, complete siya, may value. So, ay So, the sample problem we have is the sum of x and the y is 5. So, this time, meron na tayong is to denote uh, equation. So, it can be represented as x plus y is equal to 5. Next, we have twice the sum of x and y is 40. So, 2 times the parenthesis x plus y equals 40. Next, the product of x and y diminished by 5 is 8. Next, the quotient of x and y times the sum of m and p is 105. So, that is how we translate a verbal sentence into mathematical sentence. 
So, let's do the vice versa. Given naman yung mathematical sentence, gagawin nating verbal sentence. So, this time, x plus 5 is equal to 4. To express this in verbal sentence, we can use as the sum of x and 5 is 4. Or, ano pa bang pwede natin gamitin dyan? x added by 5 is 4. So, yung mga ganun. Pero yung ginamit dito is the sum of a number x and 5 is equal to 4. Next, we have twice the number x decreased by 1 is 1. Next, we have thrice the p yields to 15. Twice the number x increased by 3 is equal to 7 added to the same number. So, sa English, importante marunong tayo magbasa. So, ganun din sa math. Dapat alam nating basahin ng tama para alam din natin kung paano natin isosolve or magagamit yung mathematical symbols na yon pag nagsosolve na tayo ng problems. It is also important that when translating, yung order or pagkakasunod-sunod, ay dapat mailagay or maisan, masundan ng tama. So, kung meron po akong mga nakalimutang mga terms or expressions, uh, pakilagay nyo lang po dyan sa comment, pakicomment nyo lang po dyan sa comment box para uh, sharing of ideas. ba? Now, try to challenge yourself with this given... And that ends our lesson today. See you next meeting. Goodbye.